everyone. Thank you for watching. Um, sorry it's been so long since I've actually filmed. I was out of town and then some stuff happened in my apartment, like the ceiling on the roof came down and I've been dealing with that. But thank you for watching and um, I'm starting my friend inspired makeup kind of series. So the first look is this one today. It's kind of a grungy, neutrally brown eye with a pop of purple. And it's inspired by my friend Mary. So shout out to Mary. Um, she is an amazing person. She has changed her life. She went from living in a very small town and working hard. We're both animal nurses. Um, I met her in Arizona when I lived there. And since then, she's just flourished. Like, she tra has traveled to different countries, and she loves and follows two cellos, which, giving them a shout out right now. And she loves Metallica, she loves music, she loves baking. She's just beautiful. She donates her gorgeous hair. Like, I can't. So, she's amazing, and she inspired me to do this look. I figured in channeling Mary. Um, I think of her and I think of purple, so that's why I put the pop of purple on my inner corners. And then I figured she could always, you know, I pictured her going to like a concert, you know, representing her her two cellos or her Metallica. Probably two cellos with this look. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and yeah. So, please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed and are back, thank you so much for watching and I appreciate all your support. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. So to begin, I'm gonna take Soft Ochre. It's a MAC paint pot to act as a primer. I'm just taking my finger, putting it in there, clean finger, by the way, um, and putting that all over my eyelids to cancel out any redness or darkness that I may be having. I'm going to bring that all the way up to my eyebrow and put a little bit on the um, outside edges as well because we're going to be putting eyeshadow there. Next you can take any kind of neutral warm brown. I'm taking a fluffy blending brush um, and I'm going to go ahead and just take some of that and put that into my crease and outer corner um, on both eyes and this just kind of acts as a transition shade and I wanted a matte because the next crease color is going to be shimmery and I want it to kind of balance out. I don't want two shimmeries going on in there, just, just the one. Um, so there is that. And just swiping, blending and swiping and swiping and blending until you're satisfied. Next I'm going to take this Wet n Wild palette that I just picked up. And I'm going to use this eyelid color here. It's just a pretty shimmery kind of champagne-y pink color. And with my finger, I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids on both eyes. Um, and again, it's just a really nice light color. And these, the colors also remind me of fall, so that's kind of why I chose the colors as well. I'm going to take this definer color. I think it's gorgeous. It's like a brown, sorry, a blue that kind of fades to brown. So it's like teal, blue, brownish, shimmery. I'm going to take this kind of little um, pencil brush and I'm just going to work that color into my crease. As you can see, the blue doesn't, or the teal, doesn't really show that well. Um, but it is there and I think that it does give it some um, really good dimension and it kind of gives it like a grungy look which I like um, and again a fall look with you know the leaves changing and and whatnot so just gonna kind of work that in to both eyelids and then it doesn't have to be nice and precise it's just kind of an easy you put the color on there and then we're gonna end up blending it um, with a fluffy brush anyway and you're going to want to do that to both eyelids. You can really see the blue with the lighting on this eye. I keep saying blue. I guess it's like a bluish teal. Um, but yeah, just kind of keep working that into the 
to the crease, creating a little V on the outside there. And then we're going to end up blending it out. So I'm just going to take that same fluffy brush that I used before. This is just a Sephora blending brush. And I'm just going to blend that color into my crease. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just kind of going for the look here, not perfection. Who likes perfect anyway, right? <laughs> um, so then next, I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil. This is by Urban Decay, and it is actually called Morphine. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous iridescent purple. It's their 24-7 Glide-On Shadow Pencils. Um, I've had it for a while. And it just, it's just gorgeous. And I thought of Mary immediately when I saw this and had to put it on there. We're just gonna put that in our inner corners. I've been really liking this trend where I've been seeing color in the inner corners as opposed to just doing like a uh, light kind of you know iridescent white color I like doing the color I've seen a lot of people do green or you know different pops of color I did purple so next I'm gonna take my Maybelline concealer that I usually use I did take the sponge off of it and I just kind of use my finger to take it out of the dispenser um, click it up and do it that way I took it off because I think I told you in my last video I kind of had an eye issue going on and I didn't want to spread any grossness to my other eye so I took off the sponge. But yeah, you just basically um, rub that in with my finger and then I'm going to set it as soon as I'm done putting that on with my Ben Nye Banana Powder and my fluffy um, IT Cosmetic brush which I love, I do it every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that same um, color that we used in our crease, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my lower lid there. Um, and I'm just going to smudge that on both sides and um, once I've done that I'm going to take the morphine pencil again and kind of drag that over to meet that in the middle and then it just creates a nice effect there. Then I'm going to take the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and I am going to take the color Betrayal which is just a darker version of Morphine and I'm going to put that on top of um, the Morphine just to kind of have some longevity there and make it a little bit more poppy. Um, so you can see it's a beautiful color as well and I'm just putting that on with a sponge tip applicator that came with the Wet n Wild palette and I'm going to put that on both sides and bring it a little bit further onto the lid um, than the pencil had been and I really like that effect. Next, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I'm just using an e.l.f. dollar eyelash curler. It does the job, it's fine. So I'm gonna curl both eyelashes because my eyelashes are very straight and stiff and they just kind of point downwards. I feel like snuffle up, I guess, but with clearly much less eyelash. Um, and then I'm just gonna put on my favorite mascara, which is my Blink Amplified Mascara. And I'm going to put that on the top and the bottom lashes of both eyes, of course. Um, and that will pretty much complete the eye look as soon as that is done. Ooh, 
Lastly, I'm going to take a matte nude color, again from the Vice 2 palette, and it is called Habit. I'm just going to take a concealer brush, put a little bit on there, and then just stick that in the arch of my brow to define my brows a little bit. Um, and then that'll be done with the eyes, I swear. <laughs> Now for the cheeks. I'm going to take Exposed um, Blush by the Amazonian Clay Blushes by Tarte. I've hit pan on this, so clearly I like it a lot. Um, but it just gives a nice natural kind of flush to the cheeks. Nothing too crazy. I was going to do a little bit more of a vibrant blush, but I figured, eh, I don't want to take away from the purple and, and whatnot. So I just stuck with Exposed. Um, and then once that's done, I'm just going to put on some lipstick. I'm going to take Faux from MAC. It's a beautiful, neutral kind of um, pink, but it has plummy undertones, brown plummy undertones. And I'm just going to take this Avon, actually, lip liner in Neutral by Color Trend. I've had it for years. I don't even know how long ago I got it, probably five years ago. Um, but I just really like the combination that it gives with the Faux. So that is a completed look. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more videos. Stay happy and healthy. Bye!